Hello, good evening. How's everybody doing tonight? We survived the storm. Holy cow. Um, three trees down this morning, or last night, and then snow yesterday. It was sunny this morning and snow this afternoon, but that's how it goes in North Idaho. Uh, welcome to Chocolate One. My name is Beth. Turn this down over here. I'm an independent designer with Chocotour, and if you're watching, um, please comment and uh, send me those thumbs up and, and smash the heart button um, and sprinkle this S-H-A-R-E to your other crafty friends. I'm going to do the same right now. Hi, Carolyn. How are you tonight? I didn't, uh, boy, I've been busy today. Um, I didn't even get a chance to uh, pre-post, you know, my little post that I do that's saying, going live at 4.30, <laughs> but uh, I figured I'll show up and if anybody else does, that'll be great. So, <coughs> excuse me. Well, I'm gonna kind of continue on with our gold theme. I'm really kind of liking it. Let me show you what I did do with the project yesterday because we did try gold yesterday and I wasn't happy with the result. But this is our burlap board, and I redid it with Dune, and I like it much, much better. It really pops nicely on that. So what I did was I took the transfer, cleaned it, and um, left it dry overnight, and then I just applied it over it. And somebody asked me, how do you do that? You simply just lay the transfer back over the lettering until, so what you see, what I saw was the gold that was in there. Thanks, Carolyn. Yeah, I like it a lot better. Um, um, so you lay the transfer back over it so you can see what you pasted yesterday is showing back through that silk screen. And um, who was it? Jane, I think, was asking about that. So Jane, if you're watching tonight, I'll make sure to do that um, live for you. But I just wanted to get this done because I'm trying to get things together for the um, consignment shop. Let's see if I can hang that back up there. Yeah, it came out much better. So tonight, we're going to do this, Hark the Herald Angel Sing. And um, it'll be very quick, very simple. Um, and I'm excited. I'm using our black framed Sylvie board. And it has two sawtooth hangers, one at the top and, oops, one on the side. So you could hang this either way. So when you're using the frames, always look and make sure that your hanger is going the right direction. And I'm gonna leave those protective corners on there because I may take this up to the consignment shop too. We shall see. So, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be very simple but very elegant. Uh, we're gonna do hark, we're gonna do the words in uh, shimmer gold, and we're gonna do the little stars in white. And I think that'll look great. So, let's get started here. What I was doing today, I was in here all day. It takes forever. I'm doing little um, ornaments. And let me, I'll grab some and show you. I have quite a variety here. These are little, you know, the little wooden discs. And I was just putting beads and stringing them uh, ribbon or ribbon on there. And um, they came out pretty cute, but it's, it's their time, their time consuming. But yeah, the consignment shop was asking, isn't that cute? That's from last year. These are, this one is from last year. Another one from last year. So that's just a sampling of some of the ones I did get done. Um, I just put an audio book on in and uh, go to town. All right, 
So I always mark on the front, and this is Herald Angels Sing. And this is this year's transfer. So that's a nice one, still available. And I hang mine on hooks, so I just I keep this little hook at the top. And then if you ever wonder, there the directions are on the back of every single transfer. And I like to write back on the back of the backer sheet. So after I wash my reusable silk screen transfer, I can place it back on there and protect it. And then always pull your transfer, horizontal or vertical, never diagonal. <clears throat> Hi Jane, thanks for watching tonight. How are you doing? <clears throat> Grab a fuzzing cloth and we're going to give this some fuzz. Got dinner already. I always like it when I have that prep before I come into my little craft room here and do my live. We're having uh, barbecue, ribs, big green salad, and baked potatoes. And I love doing the ribs in my Instapot because they come out so tender, fall off the bone, and they're done in 45 minutes in the Instapot. And then I just pop them under the broiler for some color and caramelization. All right. So our hook is going the right way. We've got some fuzz on here. So now we're just going to line this up. Kind of sits right in the middle there. Oh, I can see this transfer is not cut real straight, so the bottom um, it looks a little wonky. So I hope I got it on there pretty good. And push it down <clears throat> and get your air out of your silk screen. There we go. I'm going to take this off for now. That looks pretty good. Okay, this is going to be easy peasy. Uh, gold, I want the new gold too. Here we go. It's creamier and bright white. This one open already. We'll finish this one up. Let's see if we need to stir anything together. Yeah, we'll stir this up. Sherry, how are you tonight? Let me go over here. Instapot is the best kitchen toy ever. I don't, Jane, I don't know how I lived without it before. I tell you, I use it um, three or four times a week. And then the other days I'm not using it, we're eating leftovers, so <laughs> I love it. Oops. Let's do, I'm going to do the little stars and um, I think they're supposed to all be stars. Make sure you can see, sometimes I get out of screen. We'll do all these little thing, accent pieces first. And it's just, the chalking is just the easiest, I think most wonderful thing in the world. Okay. 
And these surfaces, as you know, or may not know, are reusable. So after Christmas, if you didn't want this on your frame any longer, you simply spray it with water, scrape off the old paste, and redo it. Um, I love them. And they are on sale this week. A lot of, um, not the Sylvie, I don't know. If, I get the names mixed up. I always forget if it's the Grayson or the Sylvie. But um, the one I like best is on sale this week. So if you're interested in that, let me know and I can get you that information. Okay, there's that. And now let's do Park. This gold is going to look amazing on this black. I'm kind of feeling the gold vibe this week. I think this is my third project in a row using the shimmer gold. Can't quite get enough of it. So I'm just being careful just to get it where I want it. Now, this will go fast right here. I got to go see my little girl today, but she slept through the whole visit. Um, if some of you don't know, I'm a hospice nurse and I'm <clears throat> semi-retired. I, I only see one patient at a time. And right now I have this darling little girl, but she was sleeping. She looked like an angel in her bed. I think chalking the word angel made me think of her. She's so sweet. That was close to that little star there. Okay, let me just go through and skim it down. And it's good with the shimmer paste to go a couple of different directions with it. Um, so you really push that shimmer through there. I think that's it. Let's take a peek at what we got here. The most favorite time. Oops, I got gold on that frame. Oh well. Ugh. Oh my gosh, so simple, but so rewarding. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, I love it. I don't think I have gold ribbon. I have Christmas ribbon, but I think, I think that this would be really pretty with some, I like wrapping just a few pieces of twine type, you know, but I think if you had the metallic gold ribbon, we lost three trees. Mm -hmm. um, I think that would be really pretty. One was one that um, was ready to come down. It was toward the front and it was leaning into our creek bed anyway but um, it was the woodpeckers had just destroyed it. So that one finally went down. So that was so stinking fast, but it really, anybody can do this. I'm telling you guys, anybody can do this. It's so pretty. Doesn't it look, doesn't that gold look really nice on that black board also? Well, that was so quick and so fast, so easy. 
Uh, let me wash this transfer off. I didn't, I was so busy today, I didn't really plan anything extra. <clears throat> so I'll set this aside. I really like it. Grab my transfer off of here. I just have a bucket of water. And we're going to wash this. Yeah, the winds died down today, thank goodness. Well, actually, early, early in the morning they died down. We had a little bit of snow this morning, a little bit of snow this afternoon, but we don't start really getting our heavy snow until late December. And then January and February, forget it, we're, we're socked in with it, so. I like it though. I like all the different seasons here. So I washed the paste off the front and now I'll just go through and get it out of the silk screen in the back and finish getting the rest of that fuzz that we put on there off. splash on the on our uh, board there Where's all the towels? there we go did I just go through and wipe it off um, Yes, the rule of thumb used to be to wipe it down with a disinfectant wipe <clears throat> when you were done. I don't do that unless I'm, I still, I do do, I do use a disinfectant wipe sometimes. Um, if I don't have water in here with me, I'll use a disinfectant wipe just to clean it off and use my, um, you know, my fine mist sprayer. And then also, <clears throat> if I have a transfer, that I've used quite often, and I feel like I'm, some of the stick is starting to go on it, I'll use a disinfectant wipe on that. And I, I feel like it helps rejuvenate that adhesive quality of your um, transfer. So we'll just let this go. backer sheet. Got a little bit of paste on this. Wipe that off. So, make sure that this backer sheet has two sides to it. One is uh, can you see that it's shiny and one is flat and we write on the flat side so we always put the back towards us and then just line it up the best you can it's much easier I didn't do a very good job it's much easier than trying to bring the backer sheet to the transfer versus the transfer to the backer sheet that looks better and back in my envelope it goes. And I can think of a couple other ways to use this. I think this would be really nice on one of the pennants, the hanging pennants that we have. It feels a little bit damp. I think I'll let it just sit out um, and air dry on the top of that material for a little bit. So I have a meeting tomorrow morning up in Bonner's Ferry, and then I'll be back, but um, I'm gonna 
Hi, Elsie. Thanks for hopping on tonight. Hi, Barb. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I sure appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to come and watch uh, the lives that I do every day. It really um, inspires me to keep doing this and I love doing it for you. And I know that I have a couple of requests out right now for a couple of things to do. And I want you to know that I'm working on those if you're watching. Um, somebody wanted to know, I said earlier, somebody wanted to know about how to relay a transfer down. And I, Jane, I think that was you. Let me show you again. I did this er, oops, earlier. This was yesterday's and I went over and redid it. And I think it came out much better with the lighter, the dune color. Showed up good. And what I said was, you take your clean, dry transfer, lay it over the design so that your design that you first, the, the, the design that you have down, um, fills the silk screen of the transfer. And you kind of have to move it around a little bit, um, but you'll, you'll, get, you'll get there. It just takes a little bit of, um, Little bit of patience just to get it back down where it goes um, thanks and then I know oh, another person I don't remember who it was um, wants to oh, that stays stay up there don't fall I have too much stuff underneath it <laughs> um, is interested in, in um, doing like um, you know, a multicolored tree. So that's interesting. I'll find a tree pattern and we'll do that um, one day soon. So that's it for tonight, friends. I'm going to go finish cooking dinner and I'll be back tomorrow at 4.30. So until we uh, uh, talk and chalk again, take good care.